Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into Dragon's Dogma 2, a game that's quickly becoming a cult favorite for many. However, there's a big twist 85% of gamers haven't seen the best parts of this game yet. Stick around as we uncover why so many players are missing out on the game's most epic reveals. Dragon's Dogma 2 has its share of mysteries and complexities that many players may initially overlook. The game begins with what seems like a traditional fantasy setup, but there's a massive shift awaiting those who delve deeper. According to Xbox's achievements data, only about 1452% of players have discovered what's known as the unmoored world, a post-apocalyptic twist that turns the entire narrative on its head. The unmoored world is not just a simple plot twist, it redefines the entire gameplay experience. This phase of the game introduces new quests, terrifying bosses, and innovative mechanics that challenge your understanding of the world. For example, players discover that the Red Dragon, initially perceived as the main antagonist, is merely a small part of a much larger and more intricate cosmic game. Yet, why do so many players miss out on this? It seems Capcom's subtle storytelling and lack of hand Holding in the game mean that many players either don't reach any ending or stop at the first major climax satisfied with the Dragon Slayer's crown. However, those who leave the coronation, spurred by the mystery of the hooded figure, find themselves in a world transformed, offering a richer and more fulfilling gaming experience. The issue here is the game's design, which can be abrasive and obscure. Many gamers might not realize that the journey is far from over after the initial ending. The game's best content is hidden behind layers that require curiosity and persistence to peel back. Furthermore, the item economy in the unmoored world also changes drastically, with critical items like fairy stones and wake stones becoming much easier to obtain, which could detract from the game's challenge. This shift is part of the game's thematic exploration of cycles both in the narrative and in the gameplay loops of New Game Plus. If you're playing Dragon's Dogma 2 or considering it, don't settle for the surface level experiences. The true essence of the game lies in its second, deeper layer, the unmoored world. It's a testament to the game's design that it can offer such a profound shift in experience midway, but it's also a call to players to explore beyond the obvious. So take this as a cue, go back, dive deeper, and see what you've been missing out on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Dragon's Dogma 2, hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming insights. Drop a comment below on your thoughts about the game's design and storytelling. Have you reached the unmoored world yet? Let's discuss. See you in the next video.